Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that honey. I had put this super on a week ago and it's already starting to get filled. Looks like we have chalk brood. Gotta fix that. So here's my trouble hive. It's got a bit of chalk brood and I need to requeen. That's the best way I've learned to deal with chalk brood is just to get a new queen and get her introduced. Now, the issue I've had in the past and I've learned the hard way about introducing queens, this might be a tip for you, is doing it at the wrong time of the day. So ideally, the, the um, best time to apply or get a new queen in there, from what I've learned, is midday when all the foragers are out. Reason is, it's the foragers who are going to reject the queen, not necessarily the emerging young nurse bees. So it's middle of the day, it's blazing hot, and I'm going to get into this colony and put a pushing queen cage and get her introduced. I hope it works. I'll come back in four days and then release her. So by then, the idea is because she's been laying eggs and cells, the colony will accept her easier. Honey, honey, that's good. So I would suspect, let's get my mite treatment out of here as best I can. I would suspect the queen is somewhere in here. So, a lot of brood, and I see chalk brood in there. Water smoker. I'm looking for a yellow dot. Nice. Yeah, eggs and larva. Beautiful, very nice nest, but I don't like that chalk brood that's going on. So, I can deal with that. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Where is the queen? Yeah. Where, oh, where is this queen? Not easy. Not easy. She'd be on the second to last frame. Yeah, chalk brood up in here. She could be. Hmm.
wow, wall to wall brood. Interesting. Wall to wall. They use the outside, they're using this outside frame to lay some drone. All right, let's, let's start from here. You thought that'd be easy. You thought we'd find the queen right away. Nope, not that easy. Life's not that easy. There she is. Found her. And she's gone. Pinched. Successfully pinched. So, got rid of her. Now, I'm going to find a frame with emerging brood. Frame emerging brood. Where are you? Get more smoke. This would be like my best frame, I guess. So I'm gonna scurry the bees off this frame. gonna lay out the square actually not this frame not this frame and I'll tell you why because it's a foundationless frame let's try that again This one's better, it has plastic foundation in it. Plastic foundation. And the reason why you want that, and I got some bees emerging here. Fuzzy bees. There we go. Just put this like this. Make a mark. Let's get the queen. Here's our new queen. Wait for the queen to come out. She's out. Just gonna wait for her to kind of like uh, give me a window to lift up this thing and go quickly I got that up so now I'm gonna push in this cage and for extra measures I'm gonna get this elastic band here and put this elastic band ever so gently 
around the cage. Ever so gently, I said. Let's see if I could do that. Yep. Now, I have the queen in here, in and amongst nurse bees that are starting to emerge. So she'll start laying in there. I'll get all this buttoned up, and then I'll come back in four days and uh, make sure everything's okay. So we know the queen's on this one in the cage. So let's make room to get to her and see how the bees are reacting. So she's reacting, they're reacting okay. There she is. So I just want uh, So there she is, you can see her with her green dot, you see her right there with her green dot. They've accepted a new queen. So this worked. It's hot out. Well, I hope you found that video helpful in uh, you know possibly your requeening endeavors and something you want to use uh, if you like videos like this and you want to see more related beekeeping videos and my adventure in beekeeping make sure to give this video a like a comment and subscribe to this great channel anyways folks i'm rob from wildfield honey and i'll see you on the next video bye